Hello everyone and welcome back to EduTap. So today we have another very important marathon session for us that is regarding computer knowledge. So first let me know whether I am visible, audible and is my screen visible to all of you. I request you to please give me your confirmation in the chat box so that I can start with the session. Hi Nilesh. Hi SA. So today we have computer knowledge with us. Again a qualifying section. So thank you Nilesh for your confirmation. So the agenda of today's session is to solve more than 100 questions on computer. We will be targeting different different domains of computer moving from the basics part then to the computer organization then hardware, software, memory and so on and so forth. So this will be a comprehensive session and uh, let me see the chat box first. So I can see people who were there in the yesterday section of decision making. They are also there. So it's, good, it's just good to see. Hi Albert. Hi Shreha. Hi Zalton. So just good evening Prabhu. So today we have this computer knowledge and again it's a 20 mark component in your Nabad grade is yeah, my people. And please remember that it's a qualifying section only. Qualifying section means that you just have to clear the cutoff and if we see the past year cutoff of 2021 it was in the range of 3.5 to 4. If I am able to correct it it was 3.5 only but just let's take the range. So good evening everyone. Good evening. Uh, chalo. So today we have a big session. Fast on your seat belts and let's start and be responsive please. I request you to please participate as much as possible give your answers and so that we can make this session a two-way communication between us do not make this session boring that's my humble request so let's start with the session now so first if you are new to our channel then you can subscribe to it at the same time you can also subscribe to our telegram channel for the pdf of this particular lecture and you can also get some other relevant stuff on the cha telegram channel the link of the same is the given in the description box below then there is another very important announcement regarding APFC courses. There is flash 50% off which is going on all the APFC courses which are being offered by Edutap. First is the master course test series and test series plus. You can use this particular code APFC in block letters and this is valid till today only. Okay. And one more very important announcement to make. Please note that uh, we have conducted many marathon sessions for the qualifying section but now the time has come for the merit sections as well. So 26th and 27th that is tomorrow and day after tomorrow we have uh, ARD static and ESI static marathons which have been planned. So there will be revision of 200 MCQs. ARD static will be taken by none other than Diksha ma'am and Ekta ma'am and ESI session will be taken by Prakash sir. So if you have any doubts and if you are worrying that how to solve each and everything related to these two subjects, you can join that marathon. So uh, I can see someone is asking uh, what is the safe score in this section? Safe score is 10 plus. When I say 10 plus, even if you go with some negative options or I should say negative marking, even then you will be able to clear the cutoff. Okay, so do not target 5 score or 6 score because that is just a waste of time. In this particular bracket, if you scored negative part, then you are on the verge of not qualifying any easy section. So the safe score is 10 plus according to me. So allow me to start with the session now. So this is the first question which I have presented on the screen. Uh, first we are starting with the basics of computer. We will be dealing around different different definitions and then we will move to the some higher versions. So the first question says is dash is the processed in the information by computer processor. So you will have to identify that particular component which is processed in information by a computer. For example if you see this particular thing is your computer. Let's take this particular thing as a computer just to understand it. So if you see different different components are given by the users and uh, and then this particular machine which is your computer gives you a very systematic flow which is also known as information. So let's take uh, let me see the chat box I can see numbers alphabet data labeling. Uh, 
yes my dear friends the correct answer will be data yesterday also we have just confirmed that data is a form of unorganized data data is something which is not organized it's something which is too much i should say in a hazy manner and information is something which is very systematic it is very presentable so those who have given the question one as correct answer it will be c only and kudos to all those who have given the right answer i can see maximum of you have given the right answer so the first question is done there are 110 questions today and i will be asking many questions on the basis of counter questions so please be responsive now we are coming to the history of computers the we all know that there are five generations of computer right so the question is very specific fourth generation of computers were based on which of the following technology fourth generations of computer were based on which of the following technologies the question is very much straight and simple and it is based on your pyqs only if you see in 2021 also there was a question which was based on the second generation language which was assembly language okay so now we i am asking you the technology which was used in the fourth generation let me see the chat box 63 people are live with me let me know all the answers in a very fast forward manner yes it was microprocessors please note this particular point it's very very important to understand that in the fourth stage there was a uh, very large scale integration microprocessors okay so i'm not uh, full uh, writing the full form of just writing the short form remember vlsi very large v stands for very large scale integration microprocessors in the fifth generation which is currently going right now we are using ultra large scale integration so very important to understand this miso stands for microprocessors and uh, ulsi that stands for ultra large scale integrations so currently we are in the fifth generation can someone let me know in the first generation what was the technology used i'm just asking you a very easy question in the first generations of computer what was the technology which were were using as simple as that if you can take the uh, i should say vt yes i can uh, albert is saying vt okay yes it was vacuum tubes vacuum tubes was uh, the first generation technology but there was many disadvantages when when it comes to the vacuum tube because it gets too hot so it was overall increasing the temperature of your computer as simple as that okay so first generation i have given this screenshot as well you can see this particular screenshot and uh, remember this is for your revision purpose only so do remember all the different different technologies which we are covering right now let's move to question number 3 now again we are moving to set certain that part which is based on your pyq users only so remember there are five generations okay there are five generations there are five different technologies which are used in these five generations and there is five different languages which are also used in these five generations so in me say if you see in 2019 even in 2020 when the question has come so there is a very high probability that question will come in this particular lang in this particular year itself so this is again will act as a low hanging fruit for all of you let me see the chat box nilesh is going with assembly anuradha is also going with assembly ekta is also going with assembly swati abhiram de everyone is going with assembly yes the correct answer of this particular question is assembly now my question to you is is assembly a low level low level language or it's a high level language whether assembly is a low level or whether assembly is a high level as simple as that come on i need answers from each and every one uh, 57 people are live hi harsh good evening so is assembly a low level language or it's a uh it's a high level language let me know your answers yes assembly is a low level language please remember this particular point now my one more question to you is uh chalo i will ask that particular question in the coming slides so that will make the session more interactive let's not waste much time on question number 3 so these are certain very important languages which you have to remember remember that machine language and assembly language both are low level languages but again first generation was focusing on machine language second generation was focusing on the assembly language third generation was moving toward high and fourth was moving towards software packages okay now we are coming to one of the short forms which we have just used right now so let me know the answer of question number 4 okay question number 4 assembly and machine are low level good rathod rathod has given a very good explanation to this particular point question number 4 what does h S stands for ULSI. Short forms. 
short forms and your shortcuts these are must do you will get either one or two or more than two but max to max three i would say from this particular domain yes it's a large scale integration so yaad rakhna scale is what scale so it's ultra U L T R A ultra large scale integration as simple as that okay so this was the now if I ask you U L S I was the language of which generation of computer so what will be your answer what will be your answer if I ask you U L S I was the uh, language of which generations of computer I am not giving the options we have just discussed it so let me know yes it was the language of fifth generation very good. Now moving ahead to question number five, which of the following persons, which of the following personalities is also known as the father of computers? I know maximum people will mark their answer as Charles Babbage only, so I'm not wasting much of your time. But let me know the person who is also known as the father of modern computers. My question to you is that which of the following person is known as the father of modern computers? Father of modern computers, kine bolte hai. So I'm also repeating in Hindi because of the demand which is there in the public. Yes, the correct answer of this particular question is Charles Babbage. I know that. Who is also known as the fathers of modern computers? Listen to this question. Who is also known as the father of modern computers? Can I know that particular answer? Yes, it's Alan Turing. So remember, he is the father of computers because he was the first to introduce analytical process in the computers. Alan Turing is the father of modern computer. As simple as that, it's very important to learn these different different components because there can be a question, but provided this is a very easy language question. And now let's move ahead to question number six. Which of the following computers are used for solving complex applications such as global weather forecasting? Is it supercomputer? Is it public computer? Is it mobile, hybrid or none of the above? Now let me know answer of question number six. Then I will discuss uh, what is analog computer. Okay, so first let's discuss what is the answer of question number six, my friends. Who will be giving me the right answer of question number six? Yes, these are supercomputer. Can you please name one supercomputer which has been developed in India? And I will be checking your knowledge as well via this for your GA. This was recently news as well. Yes, Param 8000. Param 8000 is an in, uh, in uh, I should say the supercomputer which has been developed in India. Yes, good, very good Nilesh. You have that particular knowledge which I am seeing and I am hoping that you will be in the final list. Harshal, Satya, Mega, each and everyone knows you the answer. So that's really very good. Now can someone let me know this particular statement is true or false. Analog computers. Okay, there are different types of computer. I hope you know all about them. So just listen to this particular statement. I am giving you one statement. Analog computers will accept uh, inputs in digital, uh, let's take digital form. Analog computers will take inputs in digital form. Is this statement true or false? Digital form. Let me know. Yes, yes, superb. No, Albert is saying no. Param Siddhi. Okay, no. Yes, the correct answer of this particular question will be false. Why? Because analog computer will only accept data in physical formats. They do not know anything about digital formats. For digital formats, we have digital computers. For example, our personal computer, micro computers and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, you should also remember there is one hybrid computer. Hybrid computer. Hybrid computer is that particular computer which accepts data in physical as well as in the form of digital inputs so i hope that these three particular computers are very much clear to you okay now let's move to question number seven the circuit this is not circuitry i apologize for the spelling mistake the circuit that includes cpu and memory chip is located on can you let me know that particular component yes 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 maximum people have given false of that particular answer so that's good Question number seven, mind you, my friends, mind you, my friends, if you are from non-science background and if you are from arts, humanities, target a score of 10 plus. There will be easily 15 questions which you can attempt and you can yourself see certain PYQs. I will be discussing PYQs in this session as well. So be there with me because all the PYQs of 2019 
all the PYQs of 2020 and 21 are there in this particular session. So you will get a confidence booster as well. So decision making and computers. Yesterday only I have told you that this is your one stop solution. Tomorrow we have done a session of 2 hours and 37 minutes. Okay, and I have received wonderful feedback on this particular session. That session was good. Today we are going with computer. Again, today's session will be of 2 hours 30 minutes only. So these two sessions are a must to watch for your qualifying section. As much simple as that. Hanji, yes, the correct answer here will be motherboard. Can someone let me know the CPU full form? What is the full form of CPU? A very easy question. What is the full form of CPU? No, no, the answer will be mother mode. Motherboard is a, uh, I should say, I should say is a manager kind of thing of computer in a very general language. Here there will be different, different components. Okay. And you will see the CPU is also present here. We will discuss about CPU in the coming slides and there are different, different uh, sockets as well, which are there. So motherboard is the integral part, or I should say of the computer. Yes, CPU stands for central processing unit. Okay. Central processing unit. Good. Okay, now let's move to the question number eight. How many generations of computer has been classified? So this is a very easy level, level question. Let's not waste our time. There are five levels of uh, generations which we have. Now, this is the time period and technology. So technology part we have used. Now focus on the time period. Now do not do go in the domain of muggifying all of it. Just remember the period of operation of first as well as the last because the input to output ratio in this particular type of question is very less. We have understood the technology. We have also understood the languages which are used. Okay. For time period, just remember the first one and just remember the last one as simple as that. Yes, the correct answer will be five. I'm not wasting your time. Now, this is the PYQ which came exactly in the year 2020. If you are able to solve this particular question, then you are one plus. And if you are not able to solve this particular easy question, then you are one uh, one point two five minus. Who will be giving me the right answer of question number nine? What is the language which has been used in the second generations of computer? Again, I'm focusing on the languages technology because there has been a very heavy weightage on these components. Pascal, I can see one wrong answer in the chat box. So this is what uh, I should say is what laziness is all about. Yes, Albert has gone with the right answer. It's E my friends, none of the above. If I'm not wrong in question number two, we have discussed different types of languages which are used in first generation. Remember, first generation, we use machine language. In second generation, we use assembly language. This is a very important T takeaway. So the correct answer here will be E, none of the above. It's assembly language. Please note these particular components. This is really very, very, I should say, easy to understand. At the same time, they are also very high rewarding. Okay. Yes, the answer here will be E. Question number 10, again a PYQ, which has been taken, if I'm not wrong, from 2021 itself. Which of the following operation is simply deleting the files except deleting the attributes? Here you are not deleting the attributes. Seek. Question number 10, 2021. Which of the following operation is simply deleting the files except deleting the attributes? Let me see who gives me the right answer. Yes, Pascal is a very high level language. Very good. Even we have Fortin and we have COBOL, we have C++, we have also C, the DDR, Java in fact, is a very high language. We will discuss. Yes, the answer of this particular I am waiting for your, your answers on question number 10. Yes, here the correct answer will be tourniquet. In tourniquet operation, you simply delete the files except deleting the uh, attributes, certain attributes of that particular file. Now coming to question number 11. This is also a very basic question. Uh, this particular question was there, if I'm not wrong, in RBI assistant exam of some years. So that's why I've included certain very important uh, because the exam conducting authority is IBPS itself, right? So it's better to have certain questions which have been taken from either mains of IBPS PO or either from RBI assistant side. So which of the following is not responsible for the performance of computer? So you have to identify that particular statement which is not uh, having a direct relation with the performance of computer. Attribute means certain features. I will discuss that when we are moving to the database management system. Don't worry. Just be there in the next two hours. You will be 
यू विल लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन यस आई कैन सी मैक्सिमम पीपल आर गोइंग विद इधर ए और बी हरे हरि कृष्णा इज गोइंग विद बी CP is going with A, Anuradha is going with A. Yes, here the correct answer will be A. Number of keys in the keyboard do not define your computer performance. As simple as that. And this is the question I which I say low hanging fruits. So you have to accept low hanging fruits with grace. Please remember this. Do not go in uh, over confident in such type of questions. Look the question, analyze all the options, and lock your answer. now we are moving towards a very important domain of different different short forms or i should say different different definitions type which of the following is a combination of number alphabets along with the user name used to get access to user account this particular question has been taken from your ibps uh, if i am not wrong mains of some year i do not remember the exact year but this has been there so jatin is saying so let me first finish this question and then we will again go back to the last question yes harsh is going with a good uh, i should say brainstorming thing which we have just discussed because graphic card is used in this uh, because if you are let's take if you are playing with a high level pubg in your computer and your graphic card is low then your computer system will already will be giving low speeds yes the here the correct answer is a ओके, सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन डैश इज द डाटा विच हैज बीन ऑर्गेनाइज एंड प्रेजेंटेड इन अ मीनिंगफुल फैशन सो हियर आई थिंक देर हैज बीन अ रिपीटेशन द करेक्ट आंसर हियर विल बी इन्फॉर्मेशन नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम योर डाटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम डीबीएमएस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कैटेगरी वेन इट कम्स टू द कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन दिस इज एन एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर प्लीज रिमेंबर ओके दिस इज एन एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर so dbms mein yahi hota hai that you give different different data and that is converted into a meaningful information so this is a very easy question so i am not waiting much of much uh, on this particular slide now let's move to question number 14 i would say this is the question which i will be uh, waiting to get answers from many of you so again univex so you have two statements over here univex stands for universal automatic computer okay so this is the this is the first statement which you have to see it is a name of the line of an electronic digital stored program computers which starting with the products of microsoft computers okay so they are saying that it was started by microsoft computer corporation univec one was a second commercial computer produced in united states now let me see who gives me the right answer question number 14 a only statement one is correct okay we will see uh, akash is going with d akash i have seen him in the lps session as well so who is who will be giving me the right answer i'm just seeing my chat box uh, nilesh is going with a sonal is going with a anuradha is also going with a uh, megha is going with d yes here the correct answer will be option d both of these statements are incorrect now my dear friend maximum of you what you have done is univex stands for universal automatic computers apan ne sirf itna hi padha and we have not read the full line maximum of you will say ki full form is right so the first statement is correct but in the second statement it should be first okay so this was the i should say assumptions or heuristics which you bring into bring into this particular question here statement 1 is also incorrect here statement 2 is also incorrect statement 2 is incorrect because this was the first com commercial computer which was invented in united states and moreover univec was formed by arclick matrix computer company very important note please remember that univec is the very important component when it comes to the history of computers remember the formula remember the institution who gave it at the same time remember it was the first commercial computer which was produced in uh united states so i can see megha is going with the right answer question number 15 akash is was produced with ibm okay so the main idea was of the, those people only but it was produced with the uh, ibm corporations question number 15 information travel between different components of motherboard through flash memory cmos buses peripherals or none of the above let me see who gives me the right answer of question number uh, 15 if this is my motherboard I have my CPU. I have different different sockets. I have different different. I would say another very important components like battery. I have also had this particular fan who is keeping my CPU uh, 
uh, I should say cool. Now, how the information is passing between these different different components? Can someone let me know? Yes, the correct answer here will be buses. Very good, very good. I was not expecting you to answer this correctly because many people at that particular moment will say it's CM CMOS because it's more of a technical term. Okay, here the correct answer is buses. Again, this has been taken from your PYQ only of Nabard itself. Which part of CPU coordinates with the functions of computer and other components? So we all know that CPU is the brain of computer. Okay, I hope you know about it, right? CPU is a brain of computer, right? Remember this particular statement. Now I'm waiting for question number 16, right answers. More than 84 people are live, so I request you all to please participate. Don't be a couchy potato. Don't be a couchy potato, please. If the session is buffering, please let me know. If your speed is, if I have to reduce my speed, please let me know. Control unit, yes. See, CPU has majorly two parts. The first is control unit and the second one is ALU. Now, at certain books, it also says they have memory part. But these two are the most important, which you have to understand. CU is the one who manages each and everything. It will manage your operating software. It will also look after each and every operation. Earth met, uh, can someone let me know the full form of ALU? Can someone let me know the full form of ALU? Let me test your knowledge on this particular domain. What is the full form of ALU? What is the full form of ALU? I'm waiting for the right answers. Please be fast. Yes, arithmetical logical unit. There is no and in between. The arithmetical logical unit is for comparing numbers. Comparing numbers. It is the component which will do you all your math. So, Please understand if the if they have if they are asking you the brain of computer, the answer will be CPU. This is also very important to note it. Now I am moving to question number 17. I am maintaining that particular pace so that our session can be concluded in two and a two and a half hours. Where there is more and more, uh, I should say, interaction is required, I will provide it. Yes, here the correct answer will be ALU. We have just discussed which part of the computer does addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and compa comparison. Okay. Question number 18. On motherboards, the connection points for chips are referred to as. So we have seen what buses is. Now I am talking about uh, different uh, components which are there for connecting different chips or you can also say they are uh, there for connecting different peripheral devices. Who will be giving me the right answer of question number 18? Maintain your pace. Do not be a couchy potato, please. Nilesh of 18 is going with slots. Okay, we will see. Uh, Harsh is going with B. Many more answers I am expecting. 18 ports. Uh, so I think the fight is between A, B, C. The correct answer here will be sockets, my friend. Please note this particular point that if this is motherboard, if I have to collect different different uh, connection points, then it they are known as sockets. Please note this particular point. All these different different things like I/O ports and different different things, we will discuss that via questions in the coming slide. So don't worry. The correct answer here will be sockets. Now, question number 19, my friends, which have been directly sourced from 2020-20 PYQs. Which of the following directs the component of computer to perform tasks that are specified in the program instruction so you have given you are giving certain programs to the computer now which of the following directs the components of computer to perform that we have just discussed this particular component it is control unit so i'm not wasting much of your time i'm just showing you that how different questions can be asked on control unit how they can ask you questions on arithmetic logical unit as well so this is the level so maintain your preparations according to this only. Do not go a higher level and do not maintain a low level. Have an equilibrium. As simple as that. Yes, the correct answer of this particular question is uh, uh, and option number D. Now, this is the question which uh, I think maximum of you will go wrong. Question number 20. Now we are uh, we have studied what ALU is all about. So ALU, the major function of ALU is all about. You have to let me know what ALU is all about. What is the major function of ALU? What is the responsibility of the logical unit of computer? Now, if I'm saying logical unit, you have to understand it's ALU. Okay, because it is the earth magical logical unit. Do not understand it as CU. CU is not the logical unit. Chetan is coming with B to compare numbers.
Yes, here the correct answer will be option B because previously only I have told you it's more of that how you have to compare your numbers. Different statistical tools will also be performed by ALU as well. So this is a very important number in my live practice sessions which I have seen that many many people will going with this domain. So this domain is a subset of ALU. You cannot say that ALU major work is only math. Okay, so you have to know that the ALU the major work is regarding comparing of numbers. Okay. To control the flow of information, Deepak is going with option C. No, the correct answer here will be option B. Question number 21. Computer manipulates data in many ways. This is called as. I should say this is this is called as. Computers manipulate data in many ways. This is called as. So you have to understand what computer manipulates certain data. For example, if you are writing A, B, C, D. Then computer does not understand ABCD. For computer, there is a conversion which we will discuss. Computer only understand the language of zero and ones. So this particular manipulation which is happening is known as upgrading, processing, batching or utilizing. Yes, it is known as processing my friend. So now the question level will increase from this particular slide. External devices such as printer, keyboards, modems are known as. External devices such as uh, printers, keyboard, modems are known as. External devices, my friends, we all know that we are uh, having different different uh, sockets again to connect with the motherboards. So these are the certain, I should say, uh, devices which we connect. So are these known as spatial buys? Are they known as add-on devices? Are they known as peripherals? Are they known as extra devices or all of the above? 22C, Mega is going with C, Sagar is also going with C. Anuradha, each and everyone is going with C only. DP. Sonal, uh, Virendra, Riddhi, all are going with C. Yes, the correct answer here will be option C, my friends. We all are doing that how different, different peripherals. The transfer, now we are coming to the definition of different components. The transfer of data between CPU to the ferrical devices of the computer. Now, if I am transferring the data between CPU and ferrical devices, it is known as what? Is It is known as modem. Is it known as interface, buffer or IO ports? Fast, I request you to please be fast, as fast as you possible so that we can conclude this particular session in a shortest portable format. Yes, here the correct answer will be input and output ports. So this is your correct answer. The information between CPU which happens via various internal part, uh, integral part of computer is happened via bus. But when it comes to the CPU and the communication of peripheral devices, it is happening via I.O. port. So please remember this particular term. Now, the display size of monitor. For example, if I go in a market and the shopkeeper says me that the displays of this particular monitor size is 25 inches, then what is the area which he is referring to? Is it the square? Is it horizontally, vertically, sideways? And what will be your answer for this? Input and output port. Super Brathod. So what will be your answer for question number 24, my friends? Diagonally. Jatin is going with A. Sajjad is also going with A. Vishal A, Harshal A. Each and everyone is going with A. So that's your correct answer. Remember, if this is your uh, monitor, then this is my measuring length of the monitor. This is a very important component which you have to understand for computer knowledge part. Which part of computer the work done by computer operator is displayed through? So if you have to identify that particular part of computer via which the computer operator displays that information which has been done by computer. As simple as that. In which part of computer the work done by the computer operator is displayed through? Sorry. It's VDU. Yes. Which, uh, can someone let me know the full form of VDU? Can someone let me know the full form of VDU? Chetan is going with BBB. Yes, it's Visual Display Unit. Very good. Visual Display Unit. Okay, so we have discussed regarding different different components now. Now, let's have a discussion on different different short forms right now. First, in computer parlance, TFT stands for TFT. What is the full form of TFT in computer parlance? Yes, yes, yes. Maximum of you are going with visual display unit. So that's really very good to see. Short forms and shortcuts. Short forms and shortcuts. 
क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर मिनिमम टू एंड मैक्सिमम कैन बी थ्री और फोर बट दीज टू एंड फोर मार्क्स विल डिसाइड वेदर यू आर क्वालिफाइंग योर सेक्शन इजली और यू आर ऑन द वर्ड्स एज सिंपल एज दैट थिन फिल्म ट्रांसिटर सो द फाइट इज बिटवीन बी लेट मी सी द चैट बॉक्स थिन ग्लिम ट्रांसमिटर द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी हेयर ऑप्शन डी Thin film transmitter. Can someone let me know whether the LCD, LCD is a form of your uh, you you see different LCD screens on computer and your TV. LCD is a form of thin film transmitter. What is the full form of LCD? LCD is that also a type of a monitor. If you go in advanced corporation such as Reliance and different different corporation, we will not see an old desktop computer. They are having an advanced, uh, I should say, computers which are having a form of LCD. can someone let me know the full form of lcd liquid crystal display good jatin yes lcd stands for liquid crystal display there is also one uh, very important i should say led yes it's led can someone let me know the full form of led led again is a form of desktop uh, is a form of a monitor which are used in some very uh, i should say those people who have the budget as simple as that liquid not light light is not the correct uh, first word cp yadav uh, the first word should be liquid flying hawks is saying it's liquefied no 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 liquid crystal display don't get confused yes akash is going light emitting diode good 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 yes led stands for light emitting diode okay so now let's discuss certain very important uh, information regarding different different full forms okay so i need you to answer the full form of pdf i hope this particular uh, box is very visible to all of you <coughs> because in full forms there will be very very uh, questions will be there so let's discuss regarding pdf what is the full form of pdf so i am not moving ahead Until and unless I get the full form of all these different different fast, I need answers very very fast. Okay, last time there was a question if I'm not wrong based on URL. They have asked you the full form of URL, but right now, uh, flying hawks is saying I'm sure about LCD. Please recheck. LCD according to me is light emitting diode only. LCD is liquid. crystal display only so i don't uh, know why to recheck it yes pdf is portable document format now let me know the full form of dvd fast very fast what is the full form of dvd dvd is also a form of storage where in you insert that dvd just it's a secondary storage which you give to the computer dvd i request you to please follow the process let me know the full form of dvd first full form of dvd my friends i am looking for the answers of dvd and you are moving to tcp maintain the decorum digital versatile disc good cd stands for compact disc tcp stands for transmission control protocol please remember this tcp last time there was a question on rbi assistant if i am not wrong transmission control protocol so there are different different protocols on internet ip now let me know the full form of ip my friends what is the full form of ip It, all this are different different types of questions so if you see in question 26 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have discussed seven more questions in this particular slide i am not wasting your time for, uh, for by putting seven different slides because that is not the way which i teach so let's save our time uh, yes internet protocol now let me know the full form of url url is a question of 2021 pyqs what is the full form of url Jahan I request you to please follow the order so that we can revise it in a synchronization Your last uh, Jahan I should say your last uh, uh uniform resource locator yes your last now let's come to ASA, ASCCI ASCCI how many of you know the full form this is a very famous code which we use in the computer languages The first word starts with American standard. Now I need, I think, American standard code for information interchange. So Sajid has given a very, I should say, organized answer. So yes, these are certain very important full forms which you should remember for your examination point of view. 
moving ahead we are also discussing different different shortcuts in the last last uh, sessions yes can someone let chalo that will be an advanced question notion number 27 the refresh rate of monitor is measured in refresh rate i can see asic mein many people were like i should say uh doldrums question number 27 also let me know the full form of ftp we have discussed tcp right we have also discussed ip now let me know the full form of ftp yes the correct answer of this particular question the refresh rate of monitor how quickly your monitor refreshes as simple as that it is known as hertz yes what is the full form of tcp my friends file transfer protocol good 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 that's really very good to see that how different short forms are memorized by you all of you question number 28 which among the following which among the devices that converts computer output into a form that can be transmitted over a telephone line which among the following devices should be the right term which among the following devices which among the following devices that converts computer output in a form that can be transmitted over a telephone line as simple as that very easy question yes file transfer protocol is the correct answer of ftp question number 28 come on let's maintain that speed do not let our energy go down nabar grade is hardly i should say 13 or 12 days away yes it's modem modem is that particular uh instrument which converts the computer output of a form that can be transmitted over a telephone line you need to have a landline connection for modem as simple as that question number 29 the individual dots that form an image on a monitor are known as individual different different types of dots individual different types of dots very easy question is it known as particle is it known as frames it is known as pixel or parts a very easy question i would say come on i need answers from everyone yes pixels very important pixels are the most important parameters which people are seeing right now very good now coming to question number 30 which of the following is not a point and a draw device point and a draw device you have to understand which of the following is not so focus on this particular word which is saying not so do not select that device which is a point and a uh, draw device you have to select that device which is not a point and a draw device uh sajad is going with a okay keypad uh nilesh is also going with a albert is also going with a anuradha is going with a hakop is also going with a akash a yes the correct answer here will be a now can someone let me know in the today's i would say in the maximum offices in the maximum this are we using trackball or are, are we using an optical mouse a very easy question or someone may also be using different different i should say components yes see the major difference between trackball and the mouse is that particular ball which used to come uh, beneath the mouse right now that particular ball has been replaced with the laser yes it's a uh, the answer of this particular question will be keypad now let's solve one more question which was there in 2021 my friends which of the following is not an input device now i am asking you which of the following is not an input which of the following is not an input device which of the following is not an input device which of the following is not an input device allow me to do some personal work as well <laughs> haan ji yes speaker now my question to you is is scanner s c a l n e r is scanner an input device yes or no as simple as that scanner my friends is scanner an input device yes or no very easy question can scanner be an input device or not yes or no yes scanner is an input device yes because via this we give input to the computer that you have to scan this particular document as simple as that now we are coming to certain component of memory my friends okay 
so i can see maximum people are saying yes which is very good to see that your concepts are clear good 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 now question number 32 sajad is going with a okay can someone let me know the what is the smallest unit of memory is it bit byte nibble or whatever you have in your mind smallest unit of memory smallest unit of memory is bit byte or is it uh, megabyte or whatever your answer options are yes the smallest unit is bit four bits are known as nibble and now my question to you is eight bits are known as what should i write in this particular blank eight bits are known as eight bits are known as come on i need answers yes sushma jatin is going with right yes now can someone let me know what is the highest unit of memory as simple as that highest unit of memory highest unit of memory batao highest unit of memory is it mb is it kb is it jb is it terabyte is it yotta byte or whatever whatever you have in your mind let me see the chat box 99 people are live with me right now what is the highest unit of memory as simple as that yes jatin has gone with the right answer it's yotta byte very good okay so the answer of this particular question will be a now this is the chart which you should remember let me erase it for some time okay so this is the chart which is a million dollar chart for all of you try to remember the first four as well as the highest and the shortest okay then you can arrive at the your right answer so remember that one yotta byte is 1024 zeta bytes okay this is what the keywords are nibble byte and kilobyte yahan tak to yaad rakhna hi rakhna hai that is the most important thing then you can remember this particular line as well yes yotta byte is the correct answer so very good now let's move to question number 33 which of the following is a secondary device storage which of the following is a secondary device storage which of the following is a secondary device now let me see who gives me the right answer of 33a so 33 jatin is going with a jatin is going with the supersonic speed i think albert is following the suit sajit sajit is also going with a nilesh is following the suit harshal is also going with a Sagar, Akash, Sushma, each and everyone is going with it. Superb. The hard disk is the correct answer. Now, my this uh, let me know this particular statement is true or false. Floppy. Floppy is also an example of secondary storage device. True or false? Clarify what? clarify regarding with yes floppy is also an extra secondary device storage now let me know this particular statement yes maximum of you are going on the right track it's yes floppy is also an external device like hard disk now if i am comparing floppy and hard disk on the basis of storage if i am saying that you have to identify which of the following uh, component has the ha has the or I should frame it like this. Let me know whether floppy has a higher higher storage or lower storage than. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know whether floppy has a higher storage or less storage than hard disk. I request Uday to not ask any personal questions on this particular chat. I request you. Lower. Yes, floppy is hardly in MBs. Hard disk combining different different hard disk you can go in still in GB yes good jatin question number 34 dash is a permanent memory which uh, which hauls data and instructions for startup computer and does not erase after power off so this is something i would say is an incorrect i uh, should word which uh, have data should be have been right word dash is the permanent memory you just have to identify the permanent memory Hanji, flying is going right. Floppy me to MB me hi hota hai bas. Good, good, good. Satya is going with the good graphical representation. Guru Vendra is now joining the route. Albert is going with D, Rome. Now, my dear friend, first let me know the full form of RAM. This is the most important component of memories. What is the full form of RAM? 
वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ रैम वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ रैम वेरी फास्ट डू नॉट टेक टाइम इन सच इजी क्वेश्चन रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी यस रैम इज रैंडम एक्सेस मेमोरी गुड नाउ साथ ही साथ टेल मी द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ रॉम एज वेल इट्स रीड ओनली मेमोरी ओके नाउ लेट मी नो विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेमोरीज इज वॉलेटाइल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेमोरीज इज वॉलेटाइल इज इट रैम और रोम वॉलेटाइल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मेमोरीज इज वॉलेटाइल सिंपल सा क्वेश्चन है देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन विच दे हैव गिवन टू स्टेटमेंट एंड देन यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई विच वन ऑफ द करेक्ट बेस्ड ऑन रैम एंड रोम रैम इज वॉलेटाइल ओके येस रैम इज वॉलेटाइल सो आई एम राइटिंग हेयर वॉलेटाइल नाउ कैन आई रीड एंड राइट ऑन रोम एज सिंपल इज दैट रोम इज नॉन वॉलेटाइल ओके सो लिसन टू माई लिसन टू माई लैंग्वेज कैन आई रीड एंड राइट ऑन रोम कैन आई रीड एंड राइट ऑन रोम कैन आई रीड एंड राइट ऑन रोम सजेद इज गोइंग विद येस ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम सींग सजेद इज गोइंग विद रॉन्ग आंसर येस ऑन रोम माई फ्रेंड्स आई कैन ओनली रीड दैट्स वाई द एक्नॉम इज रीड ओनली बट इन रैम आई कैन रीड प्लस राइट प्लीज नोट दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग दिस इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके so ram so here the correct answer will be option d which is needed for startup of computer so this is your rom this is really very important now again a very easy question when it comes to the memory type of thing half a byte is known as now you should understand what byte is first and then half a byte is known as what okay so i can see that sajjan is giving some clarification that he was saying about ram only okay theek hai no issues what will be the correct answer of question number 35 yes it will be nibble we have just discussed that there are 8 bits in nibble question number 36 dash is a process of locating non contiguous fragments of data into which a computer file may be divided as it is stored on hard disk and rearranging the fragments and storing them into a fewer fragments of the whole file a very long question to read but a very easy question to answer i would say 105 people are live in me please let me know what is the answer of question number 36 question number fit uh, sorry it's nibble yes the correct answer of last question will be nibble only akash is going with defragmentation Yes, the correct answer over here will be defragmentation. So you just have to understand the overall process of defragmentation, which is more than enough. Question number thirty-seven. The term gigabyte equals to now. I think maximum of you will go wrong on this particular question. So let's see who gives me the right answer of question number thirty-seven. The term gigabyte is equals to gigabyte. Right now we are on the memory part only. Gigabyte. Urmila Rathod are going with B now. Rathod has retracted his message. Uh, yes, it's MB, my friends. Always remember MB. Then we move to your GB. And can I uh, ask you the term? So uh, let me take this particular question in the next slide only. If I write the term MB equals to what will be your answer then? If I write the term MB. then what will be your answer will be the same if i gave the same set of options as well if i write the term mb megabyte what will be your answer yes 1024 kb then your answer will change to option b good can someone let me know the full form of kb can someone let me know the full form of kb many counter questions can someone let me know the full form of kb i am waiting for your answers in the chat box what is the full form of kb kilobyte good 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 now let's move to question number 38 the location of a unit of data in a memory array is called as 
you have to identify the location of unit of data in a memory array it is called as yes it's kilobyte so i can see maximum are giving the right answer only good 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 let's move to question number 38 i do not want you to lose your energy we have almost been i should say uh, the session started at 6 right so there is uh, one hour we have seen that how different different components are there in computers हाँ जी सो हु विल बी गिविंग मी द राइट आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट माई फ्रेंड्स लेट मी सी द चैट बॉक्स आई एम कंटिन्यूसली सींग माई चैट बॉक्स सो मार्क योर आंसर येस द करेक्ट आंसर हेल विल बी बी नाउ नो आई एम आई एम पुटिंग वन स्टेटमेंट ऑन योर स्क्रीन लिसन टू दैट स्टेटमेंट एंड लेट वी नो इज इट ट्रू और फॉल्स ओके हार्डवेयर of the computer are intangible intangible is it true or false hardware of the computer are intangible you cannot touch the hardware of the computer is it true or false my friends false jatin is going with false so anyone with the true because i am seeing that many people are going with the wrong answer someone please true no one is going with true yes this is a false statement okay so if i write software over it if i write software over it then it will be true or false then it will be true or false if i write software is are the uh, software part of the computer are intangible then it will be true my friends okay so remember that hardware is an intangible uh, is a tangible part what by what does i mean tangible tangible means something which i can touch and feel intangible is something which i cannot feel for example what computer is offering you ms word ms word you cannot touch it you can only see it as simple as that now let's move to question number my friends 39 How many functional keys are there on keyboard? Very easy question. This is the question which I have copy pasted from your Nabard mock, which was conducted by Edutap. Question number. Question number thirty nine, my friends. In a keyboard, how many functional keys are there? Yes, the answer of this particular question will be twelve. You can see from F one to F twelve. Okay, each one has its own function. Can someone let me know what is the function of F one? What is the function of F one? F two is used for renaming. We I know this. Renaming. F one का क्या function होता है? Very easy. Short forms ही यही cover कर लेते हैं. Shortcut. Sorry. F one is used for. Yes, F one is used for help. Right. Now let me know. Is uh, for example your caps lock. Caps lock को आप क्या बोलोगे? As a computer language में keyboard. As simple as that. Is it known as functional key? Is it known as toggle key? Is it known as uh, what was the other name of key? Modifier key or what? So caps lock को क्या बोलेंगे? Caps lock, my friend. is an example of toggle key or is it a modifier key come on i am waiting for your answers my friend do not waste my time and your time as well yes it's a toggle key now can someone let me know that uh, someone has commented there are three toggle keys akash i think has commented that can you name that caps lock ek ho gaya then what other two other types of toggle keys are there yahi revise kar lo please caps lock num lock yes num lock bhi ek hoti hai yes The third one is scroll lock. Super Vakash, I can see that you are using your uh, LPS knowledge. That's really very good to see. Now, can someone let me know control? Control is a type of which type of key? Is it known as Tugal key? Is it known as functional key or what? So I will tell you. Is it as it is an example of modifier key? now why it is a modifier key because you if you are uh, you need to use this particular key with a combination of something can someone give me certain examples of modifier key yes hari krishna is going with the right thing num lock scroll lock are the two another very important toggle keys now now my question is to you please listen to the question control is a modifier key 
गिव मी अनदर सेट ऑफ टू नेम्स विच आर मॉडिफायर की शिफ्ट ये शिफ्ट एन ऑल्ट ओके सो रिमेंबर दैट की बोर्ड इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट ओके कैन समन लेट मी नो द फर्स्ट इंग्लिश एल्फाबेट विच आर देयर ऑन योर कंप्यूटर वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन कैन समन लेट मी नो द फर्स्ट एल्फाबेट्स ऑफ इंग्लिश विच आर देयर ऑन द की बोर्ड नॉट कंप्यूटर सॉरी येस इट्स क्यू डब्ल्यू ई आर टी वाई क्वर्टी दैट्स वाई वी से क्वर्टी की बोर्ड है हमारे पास एज सिंपल एज दैट ओके so enough of discussion on keyboard keyboard again is a type of an hardware okay because why it is a hardware because we can touch it keyboard again is a peripheral device because it's connected to the computer again keyboard is an input device very important component of your computers yes qwerty good question number 40 is on our screen right now which of the following are normally used to utilize a computer system hardware so now i am asking you question number 40 question number 40 my friends it's been one hour and we have discussed 40 questions so i think uh, we will finish this lecture in two and a half hours many questions to come right now let me have some water please question number 40 in initialize the computer system hardware do not just follow the rat race ki ek ne ye bol diya to main bhi wahi bolu the answer kuch bhi ho sakta hai Yes, here the correct answer will be Bootstrap memory. With Bootstrap, the most important thing is your BIOS. Come on, let me know the full form of BIOS very fast. Do not waste my time as well as your time. What is the full form of BIOS? This is a very integral part of your Bootstrap memory. It is used to restart your computer. What is the full form of BIOS in the computer parlance? Very easy question. बेसिक टू डिवाइस बेसिक इनपुट बेसिक आई यू आई एम नॉट चलो यस जत्तेन इज गिवेन बेसिक इनपुट आउटपुट सिस्टम यस इट्स बेसिक इनपुट आउटपुट सिस्टम दिस इज द फर्स्ट वाइल विच गेट स्टार्टेड वेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग योर आई शुड से योर कंप्यूटर वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ पोस्ट अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉम्पोनेंट वेन इट कम्स टू दी बूट बूट स्टेप और आई शुड से बूटिंग अप बेसिक इनपुट आउटपुट सिस्टम इज सॉफ्टवेयर Suraj is going with software. No, no, no. S stands for system. Please note this particular point. Nawad aspirant is going with device. How can it be device? Jab D hai nahi. Uh, Rathod is going with right answer. Suraj, you have to see that it's system. It's not software. Please understand this. Madhvi, Satya, Jatin are all yes. Power on self test. Good. Power on self test. What is this? power on self test means that the computer will itself do certain test when the computer is starting up it will see that all the electric components are connected or not very easy okay question number 41 dash section is the section the dash is the section in ram where your computer stores copied data dash is the section of ram where your computer stores copied data automatic self testing that can be the theme of post but the full form of post is power on self test question number 41 is it copy area is it binary number is it copy paste or what yes here the correct answer will be clipboard it is a that particular section of ram remember it is ram ram is something which will remove or which will Uh, go out of your computer once you switch off that particular computer that is a very important clipboard clipboard is a part of ram not rom please remember this 42 my friends now we are moving to booting okay so in 2021 also there was a question on booting in 2020 as well there is a question on booting so you can understand the overall uh, idea which i am uh, giving to you that booting and bootstrapping process is really very important to understand Come on, my friends. I need answers for question number forty-two. Cold boot. First, understand that there are two types of boot. First is warm or hot boot. 
under this particular boot you restart your computer when your computer is in the on stage for example kabhi kabhi hota na then mobile abhi atak jata hai mara so we press that particular button and mobile restarts it again so that is an example of warm or hot boot in this particular state on state of computer is again converted to on state of computer as simple as that what is cold boot cold boot is an example where an off state for example if i go home right now and if i switch this particular computer and tomorrow morning i come back again and i switch on this particular computer and then it will be known as cold boot so cold boot is generally what people suggest under warm boot the computer temperature can rise and some malfunctions can happen so let me see the correct answer no power supply the correct answer will be d my friend if there is no power supply the computer will automatically go down without shutting off it's like and then you will again uh, switch on the computer so you are bringing a computer from on stage to on only so how can no power of supply can be the right answer here the correct answer will be pressing power button pressing power button means that you are switching off your computer as simple as that so remember these are very important components which we are covered right now bios post booting different types of booting what is bootstrap memory something which is stored in your computer when it restarts it so very easy to understand all the different different components question number 43 i should say this is the halwa of today if you are not able to grab this particular question then sorry to say your preparations are not on track starting of computer or a computer embedded device is known as is it known as signing logging spoofing or booting those who will give the answer incorrect of this particular question they are required to go and have a face wash let me see the chat box i am continuously monitoring the chat box please please 80 91 people are live with us and i am not able to see the answer of the most easiest question suraj everyone is going with d yes it's known as booting in 2021 they have asked regarding booting in 2020 they have asked regarding the cold boot now they can ask you regarding the hot boot or they can also ask you regarding different short forms related to booting question number 44 which of the following uh, again there was a question on 2021 again on booting it's well this is a surprise for all of you the again answer will be your bios why because this is something which controls a uh, which has certain i should say execution via which your computer will restart there is a very important uh, short form which is written to it dos can someone let me know what dos stands for rashmi no need to promote me if you are seeing that that jalas sir is sharing the information then you will automatically like it <laughs> so there is no uh, i should say marketing which i am doing for myself if you like the session or if you are Yes I can see that people have started given the right answer it's disk operating system is it multi disk operating system or i should say is it is it a single window or something multiple we will discuss that question in the later part i have that question i just got that remembered now coming to question number 45 specialized programs that allow users that allow used to utilize in the specific application is regarded as I think there is some formation error in this particular question. Specialized program that allow users, that is known as application software. If I'm not wrong, right? See, there is some. I should say there is a formation uh, error in this particular question. So the question was I I will reframe that particular question. So you were required to identify that particular program in which there are different different applications and you can use that particular application according to your need so i will recorrect it i can take a note of it right now if time permits me question number 45 okay so do not blame me for this mistakes ho jati yes still people are giving the right answer it's application software question number 46 now this is the my favorite question i hope maximum people will go wrong in this question come on my challenge is on now my challenge is on a dash converts all the statements in a program in a single batch and resulting the collection of instructions plays in a new file uh sonal is going with b okay first listen to all the questions which i am throwing on you so there will be five to six question on this particular slide first question is regarding assembler okay assembler converts higher level of uh, assembler converts 
high level of uh, la high level language to a source output is it true or false is it true or false i need answers from everyone please don't be a potato assembler converts all the high level languages to a object code is it true or false i need answers from everyone please true or false elbert is going with false sajjad is also going with false yes sonal uh, is going with option b i think she is or referring to this particular question only assembler i am repeating this for the last time assembler converts all the high level languages to the object code is it true or false preeti is, is the first one who is going with true rest all are going with false yes this particular statement is false why because assembler will convert only assembly language to the object code object code is basically the machine language which computer understands okay assembler remember it is only for low level now third second statement let me take compiler 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 will convert all the high level languages to the machine languages yes anuradha has said it very right assembler will convert only low level languages and what are two low level languages which we know precisely two level low level languages first is assembly and the second one is machine machine is something which computer understand assembly is something which humans understands as simple as that han ji so who will be giving me the right answer of b i have just said that compilers are used to convert high level languages to a machine code yes it will be true now this particular statement it's true compiler will convert high level languages to the object code okay now listen my third statement listen to the third statement listen to the third statement my friend interpreter interpreter will convert low level languages low level languages to the assembly code interpreter will convert low level languages to the assembly code is it true or false interpreter will convert interpreter will convert low level languages to the object code let me know whether it is it correct or wrong yes this is also false why because interpreter is used for high level languages so note this particular point if you are going wrong then you are doing a mistake assembler is for low level higher for high languages we have compiler and interpreter compiler is the only one which will give you all the errors in one particular paragraph but interpreter will tell you line by line that this is a error which has you have done in line 1 then you will move to the line 2 but interpreter will give you the whole paragraph and that will tell you that these are certain mistakes now my fear friends when we are talking about high level languages in 2019 if i am not wrong there was a question on fortin fortin isko bas itna yaad kar lo iska full form kya hai so what is the full form of fortin my friends Fortran is a very important high level language. What is the full form of Fortran? Yes, the answer here is BB. Why? Because it's clearly given that it's a single batch compiler. Line by line is for interpreter. What is the full form of Fortran? Fortran is a high level language. Okay. So what is the full form of Fortran? Fortran ka full form kya hai? As simple as that. Come on, Sajjad. uh nilesh it's known as formula translation if you don't know by then there is also very formula translations is a keyword for fortan right then you also have cobol cobol stands for common oriented business languages or sorry common business oriented languages so remember these certain very important short forms uh there is also algol if i'm not wrong algol is your algorithm language So now let's move to question number forty-seven. So Devanshi, sir, Nabad ka paper kab hai? Seven September final date hai kya? Please, haan ji, pura final hai. Nabad has Nabad will give uh, your admit card soon. I have just called Nabad and I have asked them that date final hai. Unne bola hai final hai. So question number forty-seven. Question number forty-seven. Which of the following is a computer program that converts assembly language to the machine language? We have just discussed this. The answer will be your assembler. Not wasting much of your time. Let's move ahead. Question number forty-eight. Which of the following is an application software, my friend? Which of the following is an application software? Application software कौन से होते हैं जैसे MS Word हो गया आपका? 
एम एस एक्सेल हो गया आपका फिर एम एस पावर पॉइंट हो गया ओके नाउ आई हैव थ्री मोर क्वेश्चंस टू आस्क सो देर विल बी मल्टीपल बारिश ऑफ क्वेश्चंस सो आई थिंक ओनली रश्मि गॉट दी जोक नो अदर पीपल गॉट दी जोक दे आर बिजी इन आंसरिंग ओनली सो गुड 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 यू हैव दैट टेंशन 48 my friend which of the following is an application software yes the correct answer here will be e now can you let me know the extension of ms word files what is the file extension if let's take today i am saving a file on ms word then what will be the file extension spreadsheet yes yes all is the answer come on now move to the next question fastly do not go on this easy question if i am saving a file on word and it is version uh, let's take anything after 2007 then what will be my uh and docs yes sajjad has given the right answer it can be doc or it can be docs as well okay doc before 2003 uh 2003 i should say if i'm able to remember it correctly till version 2003 of ms word there was this doc was used after 2003 version that is 2007 onwards or something docs version was used please confirm this particular file uh, name of the version i am not able to recollect it right now but i am 99% sure that it was 2003 onwards only okay can someone let me know the extension of files of excel if i am saving a file on excel what will be the extension If I am saving a file on extension, what will be my file extension? Yes, dot xlx x. It can be xlx x. Okay. Excel s x. Sorry, yes, Excel x x. Sorry. For PPT, we all know it's PPT only. Okay, so let me know this particular answer as well. For example, if I am pressing Window plus R, I will get that particular run option. Okay, if I have to open MS Word directly, that what will be the keyword? Because MS Word is a very important component of your. Uh, Prabhu has given a very good answer. X L X X L X X. Good. If I am uh, pressing Windows plus R and I am opening the run box. that what will be this particular command which i will be giving to open the word as simple as that directly opening the word you can open word by clicking on different icons and though then that is a i would say an unprofessional approach win word okay so remember this this is also very important question number 49 program of computer presented as a sequence of instruction in a form of binary number is known as win word dot exe good 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 exe what does exe means let me have this particular question i don't know uh, someone is saying i don't know why exe exe stands for executable files i'm very sorry for my bad at writing but we have to cope with it question number 49 program of the computer a uh, program of computer presented as a sequence of instruction in the form of binary number binary number is 0 and 1 is called as I should say it's a machine language. Why? Why? Because it is something which is understand by the computer. Fifty, very easy question. I am not wasting much of your time. We have just discussed this. It's a very high level language. Why it is high level language? Because you will be needing certain codes to write it. Very easy question. Let's not waste our time on it. Question number fifty one. Which of the following is an example of low level language? We have already seen that assembly language, along with one more language. Can you name that particular language for me? assembly language plus one more language is categorized as a low level language assembly language along with one more language is categorized as a low level language can someone give me the uh, uh, yes machine machine language good so that part is also covered now 52 which of the following is included in utility programs or you can also say utility softwares software can be your operating software it can be your utility software it can be your device drivers i hope aapko ye sab pata hoga right then there is also one language translators which we have just discussed like different different compilers trans uh, interpreters and so on and so forth 
52 yes all of them are a very important utility programs utility programs means what these are certain functions which help you to perform extra activities for example virus for example backup disk defragmentation and disk compressions 53 which software takes the control of computer systems on startup a very easy question i would say provided that your concepts are clear question number 53 which software takes the control of computer system on startup? Which software takes the control of computer systems on startup? Which software? So you know that there are different different software, right? Operating systems, application software, system software. Here the correct answer. Nilesh is going with 53D, system software. Okay. Here the correct answer will be option B, your OS. All your different different Apple products which runs on different different OS like for example iOS or something like that. You have that particular uh, uh, that is also known as your interface. Please note this particular point. OS provides an interface via which your hardware and software can communicate. Question number 52, 54. Now let's have that particular speed. Let's take our uh, session in a speed mode now up to question number 60. The steps tasks and task needed to process data such as responses and questions and clicking on icon are called as instructions my friend very basic question Ye galat nahi hona the correct answer of this particular question will be a yes 54a 55 now we are again moving to the shortcuts part again we are moving to the shortcuts let me see who gives me the right answer of question number 55. CAD. This is not current account deficit for all the economic students. Yes, it will be D. Do, there is a difference between applied and aided. Do not get yourself compute. Uh, uh, I should say black box it's a computer aided device again my favorite part my friends now faster fingers first it's like a kbc ground what is the full form of html fast fast i need answers very fast full form of html do not be smart just write step by step html my friends What is the hypertext markup language used to develop your different different web pages? What is the full form of HTTP? I am writing hypertext markup language. Okay. Hypertext markup language. Now let's move to HTTP. Again, very much common. Hypertext is again common over here. Yes, hypertext transfer protocol. What is the full form of HTTPS? Just let me know what does extra S stands for. What does extra S stands for? Yes, S secured, secure or whatever you want to say. What does DPI stands for? This is not your digital payment index of RBI. In computer language, what does DPI stands for? A quick revision, my friends. Revision karo. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, seven questions are there on your slide on question number 55. Do you agree on that particular domain that people will form a question that what does HTML will say? And then they, they will go to another slide. Then they will ask you what does HTTPS is there. So let's not waste our time and my time as well. I have given you certain forms. Dots per inch. Good. What is the full form of GIGO? What is the full form of GIGO? What is the full form of GIGO? Garbage in, garbage out. Your poor input will result to poor output. As simple as that. LCD we have covered. LED we have covered. What is the full form of MICR? MICR, my friends. MICR, say I am making one question as well for scanning, uh, for print. Chalo, let me ask that particular question in that form. Printers. Okay. Dots per inch is done. MICR, Magnetic Ink Character Recognition. What is the full form of Wi-Fi? What is the full form of Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, sorry. I 
I am seeing my chat box. So currently there are hundred and eleven people alive. Used to read checks. Yes, magnetic in character reader. One more question coming on your screen right now. Wi-Fi wireless fidelity. Good. So all these different different short form I've done. OMR again very important input device which can be used. OMR full form. Optical mark reader, very good. So I'm not wasting much time. Now printers, my friend. I have not included a question on printers, so I just came to recall this. Printers. First, let me know is laser printer and uh, is laser printer an impact printer or is it a uh, non-impact printer? Is laser printer an uh, impact printer or is it a non-impact printer? Optical mark reader, yes, good Anuradha, good Nayan, Nayan, Manish is also going with OMR, okay, non-impact, yes, non-impact, okay, laser, can someone let me know is dot or I would say dot or line printer, dot printer and line printer, these are very important printers which you are classifying as an impact printer, okay, so remember these are certain very important classification of printer. Okay, now let's move to question number 56. Dash is the structured database in which data is stored in a form of tables. Chalo, chalo, let's not waste our energy. Let's not. Question number 56. <coughs> Sorry. Enough of screaming. Tell you, question number 56 is on your screen right now. Tables. Now, if you see database. Uh, management there are three types of database first is network then it's hierarchy then you have your relational as simple as that these are three types of database I hope padao yes relational database good my friend now uh, questions are coming on your screen right now so focus on these three questions which I'm putting right now this is my row this is my columns okay this is my row one this is my row two this is my column one, column two. Now under DBMS, that is your database management or database management system. Rows, what is the synonym of rows? Row, what is the synonym of rows? Come on, I need answers very fast. Is it field or is it record? Chalo, main do ye option de raho. Is it field or record? I want to finish your time lecture as fast as possible. Come on, I need answers for this particular question. In this particular set, that is your database management system. Row is also known as, is it known as field or is it known as record? Yes, good, records. And what is the other name of columns? What is the other name of, other name of columns? Column is known as field, yes, good. Now, if I am giving a heading of this particular column, then these particular head, that is A and B, what does A and B will represent? What will be the keyword which I should write for A and B? If I am saying A is the cat, A is the head of C, A is the uh, heading of C1, B is the heading of C2, then they are will be recorded as attributes. Okay, please remember this: row, columns, attributes. Attributes are the heading of your columns. Also remember, rows are also known as tuples. Okay, so I hope jitta ho sakta tha, maine batha diya database management systems ke baare mein. Now let's move to question number 57. Again, very small, for, I should say, for short form which you should remember regarding question number 57. We will come to shortcuts later because shortcuts pe so there can be an endless debate, right? Short forms jo major major hai, wo to apne ko aai gai. Question number 57. Question number 57. Do not let your participation go down. 110 questions here, we are almost there. Do not worry. Shortcuts we will be going. Question number 57. Nilesh is going with D. First time I can see Nilesh is going with the wrong answer. Yes, Prabhu Shan. Prabhu Shan has gone with the right answer. It's risk tax format. So do not get confused. Hai? So the correct answer will be RTF. That is rich tax format format i am writing it here rich text format a very easy thing which you should remember is rtf bhi bolte hai. so now let's move to 58 
which of the following system software resides in the main memory always which of the following system software resides in the main memory ye main memory hi mein rahega always the key term it is always the correct answer here will be loader okay so this is a very easy question loader is something which will help your computer to start as well sometimes question number 59 Let me run through question number sixty-five now because time is running, so I have to increase the speed. Yes, R T F. I can see maximum people are giving the right answers now. Fifty-nine. The main purpose of dash is to resolve the referencing among the files. If there is very very different different files from different different uh, softwares and uh, hardwares, then linker will be used. Linker will be used to solve the references among the files. So this is also a very important component of your computer. Sixty. The dash tells the computer how to use its compu components. A very easy question. Operating system. I am telling you, operating system is the interface. Okay, so these are three very easy questions based on your definition. So just remember different different uh, components of your computers, and you are good to go with. Now, question number sixty-one. Which of the following operating system is also known as single user operating system single user means only one user can use it but like for some example like windows ubuntu or something you will see that multiple users can use that particular windows via login and log out but under which operating system only one single user can operate it my question is very much simpler to you yes sajan is going with d so if you want me to reduce my speed please let me know i can reduce it i can wait for uh Yes Nayan has given a good de definition I would say so do you want me to reduce my speed but if i reduce my speed then obviously the session will go long the correct answer here will be d that is your dos disk operating system is an example of single user all the different types which are mentioned in the different uh, screen types there are multiple user systems can someone let me know which is the most updated windows version which is happening right now thank you albert for confirmation Can someone let me know which is the most updated Windows version which is happening right now? Which is the most updated Windows version? Is it? Ah, chalo, batai the options kya hi dena? Yes, Sagar, Sagar, you are going bang on on every question. Yes, currently Windows 11 is the most important version which is, or most updated version which is currently used. Yes, 11. I can see Nilesh, uh, Hakup. I'm really very really sorry, Hakup, if I'm taking your wrong name. I apologize for that. Vishal, Shivam, Rathod, Meghna, Rashmi, I. Sorry, J. Suraj, everyone is giving the right answers. Question number sixty-two. Which is a which file is the batch file which is that is read while while booting a computer when you are restarting that computer? Then which of the following file will be used? Now again in DOS you will see certain extensions are there. So the correct answer here will be auto x bat. This bat can someone let me know what does bat uh, file means? This is also an extension like exe, docs and all. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Hakup, but you have a unique name. I appreciate that. I Manish is saying twelve will be launched in two thousand twenty four. Great. So question number sixty two, I have given this particular counter question to you. If I am writing auto x dot bat, bat stands for what? It stands for batch files. Batch files are something which will go in unison. For example, just अपना nift होता है, हर एक batch होता है, आधे आधे घंटे का, as simple as that. Question number sixty three, a very easy question. Come on, I need answers from everyone. I will not move ahead if you are not able to answer this question. So I am waiting for one minute. Hold one minute and let me see who gives me the right answer for sixty-three. We have already dealt or we have already studied this particular component in the previous sections. Question number sixty-three: The restart of a computer is called when computer is already on. Computer is already on. Again, apply this. You are going to on to on. Already discussed. Yes. Uh huh. Cold booting. How can it be cold booting? it will be a warm boot compute computer is already on so you are restarting it so do not be over confident my friends please i request you even if you are performing 100 out of 100 uh, 
uh, I should say 110 out of 110 in this particular section. Do not get confident. This is my disclaimer to you. Although I have mimic the PYQs only, but again, that particular day, which is your, uh, if I'm not wrong, 7 September, whatever your slots are, be confident of that day. Overconfident mat jojana. Question number 64. We have already discussed this question, which process checks in, uh, to ensure that components of a computer are operating and connected properly. So that is happening via POST. POST stands for power on self test. We have already discussed this. Off to on is a cold boot. Yes. Now on to on is a warm boot. As simple as that. So thank you, Hakup. Or you can give me your nickname if you want me to. That would be a good. What is your synonym like? You can give me that. I can use that. Off to on is cold. Now Shivam is also going on the right track. Anuradha is saying C. Yes, this is C. So we are moving on question number 65 now. What do you understand by term booting? I have included different questions from different different angles on booting because I have told you that 2020, 2021, there are four different questions on this particular domain. So I have included different different questions. Yes, here the correct answer will be option A. The process of starting the computer from a power off position. Question number 66. Just Len will do, sir. Okay, thank you, Len. Uh, Linden. Linden. Okay, fellow. Now focus on 66. By default, on which page the header and footer? Now, header and footer is printed on which page? Yes, the correct answer of this particular question will be option every page. Why? Because uh, header and footer will insert it automatically. Okay. Or now my question to you is header and footer is present on which tab of Word? Is it the file tab? Is it the different home tab? Is it different, different tabs? I hope you know about it like mail reference tab. So what is uh, the tab name on which in header and footers are there? Also tables are also there in this particular tab only. Can someone let me know that particular name of that particular tab? Insert. Good. Now I can see Sajad is coming form in again. Okay. So question 66B. 60. Yes, I was correct. It was 2003 only. So the correct answer of this particular question will be doc. Remember this, this is really very important. But if I change this particular domain that I, if I'm writing 2003 onwards, okay, onwards means that I'm not including 2003, then your answer will be option C. So I hope this particular point is also very much clear to you. Currently, according to the question demand, the answer will be B. But I have told you in the advanced version post 2003, the answer that will become C. 68 my friends now we are moving towards networking i think yes this is a question which is based on networking hanji so simplex uh half duplex as well as full duplex hanji so who will be giving me the right answer for question number 68 which is the exact replication of question number uh, of your PYQs which were asked in 2019. The mode of transmission that allow both communicating devices to transmit and receive data simultaneously. Simultaneously my friends. Simultaneously. Half. Half duplex. So Nilesh first you think go, uh, you marked A then you changed it to B. Yes, the correct answer here will be A, full duplex. Now, my dear friend, first understand, these are two computing operators. Just understand this for a basic simplicity. Simplex will say that the information will first flow to this particular computer and then the com uh, this particular computer, after properly understanding it, then they will pass this information to him. Okay, so this is simplex. Okay, or I should say, no information will be passed. Okay, sorry, this is my bad. Or just let me have an eraser. Sorry, sorry. This is my bad. Completely my bad. Sorry. Okay, so what is simplex? That only one party will pass the information and no other party will pass the information to others party. Okay? So this party will only pass information to this party. Full duplex says that, half duplex says that, that this information will first go to this party and after processing this particular information will move to this party. So it's like first you give and then I give. Fuel duplex is all about information exchange. Both parties will give in equal information to each other simultaneously. That's why the answer was A. Yes, very good, Nilesh. Good example. Question number 69. Again, taken from your PYQs, which is regarding your SMTP. These are certain very important transmission uh, 
protocols which are generally taking place on the internet smtp my friends simple mail transfer protocol simple mail transfer protocol okay so the answer here will be b with can someone let me know the use of this particular platform can someone let me know the full form of this particular uh, full form i have just told you can you let me know the uh, i should say the use of this particular uh, protocol yes simplex television is radio good anuradha is saying walkie talkie is half duplex yes mobile phone is an example of full duplex good can someone let me know the uh, uh, usage of smtp simple uh, yes yeah, simple mail transfer it is used for sending emails okay so remember this now let's move to question number 70 again taken from your pyqs now this is a question which was there also in 2021 my friends for emails good yes for email to multiples yes 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 good okay so remember now ipv version 4 and ipv version 6 in ipv version 4 we have 32 bits in ipv version 6 we have 128 bits and can someone let me know which version of ipv which uh, we are currently using or i should say maximum people are using which version of ipv e nilesh is going with e why e 32 and 128 is correct right so option a will be the answer let me recheck yes answer is option a only right okay 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 so it was a mistake yes currently we are using ipv4 but now we will be shifting to ipv6 now we are coming to again very different different types of networking the first is your pan personal area network i hope you know about it personal area network then you have your i should say local area network okay local area network then you have this particular thing which is known as your metropolitan area network okay metro i'm not writing the same metropolitan area network then you have your wan that is your wide area network so these are certain very important network types so bluetooth is an example of pan yes my dear friend why because certain people will only use it internet internet is an example of which of the following these are four options for you internet is an example of come on i need answers from maximum people my friends come on i need answers for question number 71 if someone can help satya please let him know it because i do not have the correct information regarding 64 bit yes internet is an example of wan okay uh, now consider this particular uh, uh, i should say situation for example let's take at edutap only we are using a network then which of the following network will be good for us currently we are operating let's take a uh, hypothetical number of uh, 20 computers then which will be useful for us i have given you a situation for example we had edutab using 20 computers okay this is an hypothetical computers hypothetical situation then which of the following will be used by us lan for edutab yes good that is local area network and what is metropolitan area network for it is for whole city type of or whole town town type of thing you can assume your smart cities mission over here all the different different coordinations are coming to a one control center okay question number 72 what is the logical address assigned to the pc printer router on network so now we are coming to different very easy domain names as well come on i need answers from everyone 109 people are live which is a very good number i was expecting only 50 people to come today but question number 72 what is the logical address which is given to every pc printer router on network if you are a not network then you will have a unique address question number 72 yes len is going with b yes it's an ip address ip address stands for internet protocol address we have already discussed the full form what is the string of characters that define the address of a web page now all these are previous year questions my friend so this shows that you just need to remember the basic information the basic functions the basic terminologies do not be try to be an expert in computers 
if you are being an expert in GA, if you are being an expert in ARD, if you are being an expert in ESI, that thing is good. But being an expert in decision making computer that can backfire you. So just revise these two lectures which I have done with you. You are good to go. Yes, it's URL Uniform Resource Locator. Very easy address of each web page. Question number 74. Again a PYQ my friend. Dash is find just above the file tab of MS Word. Its purpose is to provide a convenient access to almost all the use command. This is an example of quick access. Now under file tab you will see different different tabs are there like insert home and so on and so forth uske upar hota hai title bar jiske andar we have that particular title of the document uske just uh, side mein dekhoge to you have this quick access bar where in different different options are given like save refresh and so on and so forth the correct answer will be d d d my friends this is the quick access bar okay title bar will only have the title of that particular document 75 what is the length of ipv4 we have just discussed this particular question again 2021 repeated so i will request you ki pyqs jitne bhi hai please do that if you want to take my source uh, i will say that go in the official ch channel of edutap telegram wala edutap ke telegram group pe jana hai okay under file section okay file section mein search zabana सर्च दबाने के बाद टाइप कंप्यूटर ओके सो वहाँ कंप्यूटर लिखोगे यू विल गेट टू टू थ्री फाइल्स जिसमें एक पी वाई क्यूज की है और एक 2021 का जो मैराथन सेशन था उसकी है ठीक है ये 2022 का मैराथन सेशन है 2021 वाला मैराथन भी कर लो जस्ट गो विद द पी डी एफ एंड पी वाई क्यूज भी कर लो सो यू आर गुड टू गो ये शेयर द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ए सेवेंटी which in which network both lan local area network and man that is metro alien uh, metro area network are present the correct answer here will be d wan which is your wide area network very easy wide area network personal area network ko bhi comprise kar lega local area network ko bhi comprise kar lega uh, this is your local area network this is your wide area uh, this is your wide area network which is a sub uh, super set then you have local area network then you also have this network which is metropolitan area okay so remember this acha one more question which came to my mind can you let me know the first internet server which was developed it internet first type of internet was can you let me know that particular name which was developed by usa only so can you let me know the name of that particular internet which was firstly developed I am waiting for your answers in the chat box, so please do not make me wait for long. Please share your answers. Yes, Sajad is again going with the right answer. It's Apranet. Question number seventy-seven. Servers are those computers that provide resources to other computers connected by. So again, a very easy question. It's network, my friends, because different different computers are connected to different different, or I should say, a one common network, and then you can also have that information exchange and so on and so forth. Yes, Apranet is the right answer. For question number seventy-seven, easy question. I'm moving forward to seventy-eight. In computer technology, hub is associated to hub. Hub means something like a central point, you can say. Nitin is also saying network. Yes. Now, question number seventy-eight. Come on, my people. We will wind our section at eight thirty. Seventy-eight people are saying B star. Yes. What is star network, my friends? If this is my hub. then this is my start these are different different computers which are connected okay so this is your hub hub means that each and every person who will be sharing information on this particular network hub will broadcast it hub will broadcast it now there is also a switch my friends hub versus switch i hope you know the difference hub for example if a is passing the information to b a says that i am fine so a information will reach to this particular hub C and D will also come to know that A is passing the information to B and A is saying that I am fine. So this is the, I should say, disadvantage of hub. That's why switch was introduced. Now switch is also something like this only. 
switch will only pass that particular information which it is intended to so just remember this particular difference you will remember it 79 which channel or the flow of data is always one direction and there is no capability to support other response for example if this is my network then this is my computer a this is my computer b this is my computer c this is my computer d so a is there b is here c is there this this is also known as shaft all these different different points are also known as taps okay so if information is coming to this then a can have it then after closing of this step then b can have it so it's like a sorry this is i should say this is not a question which i was explaining so just avoid this diagram in which channel the flow of data is always one direction the answer will be c sorry sorry i just got a flow with the different network meshologies Question number 80. A network that connects individual personal devices that are located close together is known as, again, very easy question, PAN. We have just discussed this. This is an example of your Bluetooth. Okay, so you build a local network wherein different, different people who are very close to you can join. Question number 81. The set of rules used by the network for communication are known as, very easy question. I'm not wasting your time over here. Your answer will be protocols. For example, you have TCP. You have IP, you have FTP, you have SMTP. And so these are certain very important protocols which you should remember and remember the use of these particular protocols as well. So answer will be C. How many layers are there under open system interconnection model? Now this is the question which I will test you. 82 my friends. 82. Let me see who gives me the right answer of 82. 82 my friends who will be giving me the right answer of 82 7 can someone let me know the first stage name yes there are seven okay so the what is the name of first stage and what is the name of the last stage or the seventh stage can someone let me know if you don't know then please write skip The first stage of OSI model, that is Open System Interconnection Model, is the first stage of OSI is application. Okay. And the last, oh, good, good, good. And the last stage is physical. Okay. Under the application stage, again, you will accept data for all the applications. Okay, so I can see maximum people are giving the right answer. Don't know. Okay, no issues. Any device connected to the computer network is known as. Again, a very easy question. Don't uh, give any random answers. Analyze this question and give me the, your answer. Question number 83. Question number 83 is on your screen right now. Please answer this particular question. Let me see who gives me the right answer of question number 83. No issues. Come on, my people. Hardly 30 minutes left now. We have covered different, different domains. Only the major domain which is remaining right now is viruses. Oh, yes, we have also not discussed the full form of virus. Come on. In this particular question, we will also discuss the full form of virus. Let's not leave anything which is very basic. Here, the answer will be node, my friends. Any device. How can be a client be a device? Client be a user, right? So how can you mark your answer as <laughs> client? <laughs> client is not a device. Okay, so the answer will be A. Now, what is the full form of virus, my friends? Come on, I need answers. What is the full form of virus? I will give you the initial word, which is vital. Vital information under seeds. Super Vakash. Now, let's move to 84. The termination... Uh, the terminal evaluation of program of TCP and IP network such as internet that allow users now you have to allow uh, you have to select that option which allow different users who are sitting on different remote computers for example if one is sitting in Australia and another in India then how that particular person who is sitting in India can access his system which is in Australia or network which is on Australia yes Len you are right vital information resource under siege good Rathod is also going good Majnunath, vital information is good. Nayan is also going good. Yes. No, no, no. It's not network. 
it's telnet under telnet you will get to know that how you are using two remote computers under network you are using different different computers which are connected to one particular line that is your network how can they can be the correct answer will be telnet my friend i don't know why you are answering network question number 85 is in your screen right now yes akash is going with the right answer len has also gone with the right answer even majnunath essay is also gone with the right answers sajad is also going with the right answer so sajad is using a, i can say calculated risk type of approach question number 85 after this only 25 questions are left come on my friends i need your proper attention to it yes ring topology means what these two particular persons are connected to uh this system is connected to this and this in the then this particular system will be connected to another system so the forming a single continuous pathway to each node two other se hi connect hota hai that will be your i should say ring topology what is bus topology bus topology that why i was explaining in the previous question that there will be one single this so that was the explanation which i thought i will be giving this question but uh, due to some mis uh, miscommunication i got confused in that 68 86 sorry not 68 86 dash is a specific kind of network topology in which all the various devices are connected to a single line or a cable this is your bus topology i would say <laughs> acha popat ho gaya b question number 87 my friends a very basic question world wide web www jaise bhi bolte hain yes 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 that was completely my mistake actually i was not seeing the question I just saw the answer. That bus can happen. So just I explained that. Sorry, sorry, my fault in that. But now, Sajad, I think the concept is clear. That what is bus? What is mesh? What is different different topologies which are there? What is full complex? What is half? And what is simplex? Yes, Tim Berners Lee, very important name when it comes to the remembers the father of computer. Remember the modern father as well. Question number eighty eight. Which is the text near field? the top of web browser window that displays url of the current web page a very easy question i would say it's an address bar let's not waste much of the time over here because under address bar you will write all the urls for example www.edutap.co.in is an example of url and you will write that in the address bar question number 89 what are hyperlinks used for and i also know now let's start with the shortcuts as well okay are what writing shortcuts okay so also let me know if i want to insert a shortcut in the word file that what will be my shortcut question number 89 my friends have uh, after this question only 20 questions are there with me but i will be asking numerous questions on short forms so be there with me for the last 20 questions or i would say can last half an hour as well Yes, to move from one web page to another. So this is hyperlink. Can someone let me know the short form as well? Shortcut. Sorry, not short form. Sorry, shortcut. If I want to insert a shortcut in Word file, then I will be using Control plus K. A very important shortcut which you should remember. Anji, so question number ninety. A very easy question. Chalo, I am not wasting much of your time on this particular question. The number system which is based on zero and one is known as binary. very easy question so let's not waste our time 91 this is a good question i would say how many values can be represented by a single byte okay so byte has 8 bits okay so how many values can be there yes control plus k i can see now people are giving the right answers so indeed it was getting slow on my end only because yes now question number 91 my friends come on Yes, the ninety-one was a ninety-one. Now I'm waiting for your answers of ninety-one. How many values can be represented by a single byte? Ninety-one a sixteen. Uh, I will tell Sajad to review his uh, answer. Sixteen again byte. Sixteen. Yes, uh, Visco City has given the right answer. It's C two fifty-six. Why? Because C eight bits mean what? One. It can be a combination of one one zero one one zero zero zero. So one two three four five six. These are eight combination. Again, I can write this way as well, right? 
so there has to be different different combinations and there can be total 256 combination from 8 bits or you can also say a byte yes that's why the correct answer here will be 256 now this is a question which was there in IBPS of some PO paper I am not able to remember the exact year but you can see certain questions based on application yes 2 raised to the 8 very good or you can also just 16 squares. Shivam Gupta, explain sir. Explain which component, please let me know. I will explain it. Question number 92. Which of the following is an example of binary number? Binary number is a number which is only written in 0 and 1. So if you see ABCD 005, 6AH1, these are not binary number. Option B is your correct answer. Uh, I can see Komal, SA, J, Rathod, Sushma, all are going with B. Good. Question number 93. In which of the following levels of OSI model data encryptions take place? Under OSI model, there are seven layers which I have just told you about. Please remember that under OSI, we will only deal regarding different first stages as well as the last stage. The first stage is the application stage and the last stage is your uh, physical stage. So under this particular model data encryption the first and the foremost thing where you enter your data takes place under application only. Okay. Question number 94. Now I think the time has come to discuss all the shortcuts. So please please let me know what is the shortcut function key which I will be using for uh, renaming a file. Hainji, so what will be your answer? Yes, it will be, uh, I would say, F2. Can someone let me know the function of F5? There are total 12 functions key, but the main main is that it is No, no, you are Nilesh uh, saying that vice versa. The first is application, the last is physical. First is application, last is physical. Come on, I need answers for F5 function. F5 is used for refresh. Good mega. If I have to refresh particular uh, thing on my system, then I will say F5. Uh -huh. Can someone also let me know what is the function of F7? F7 is also very important. What is the function of F7? F7 my friends what is the function of F7 function of F7 my friends and after that we will move to one of most important function which we also have F12 yes F7 is used for spell check very good what is the function of F12? F12. Let me see my chat box. What is the function of my F12? Yes, mega good. It's save as. And last but not the least, if I have to repeat an action, then I will be using what? If I have to repeat an action, then I will be using F4. Chalo, ye mein bata deta Correlate with F5. F5 is for refresh. F4 is for repeat. Repeat an action. As simple as that. Now let's move to question number 95. In MS Excel 2013, what is the key combination for going to the last box of the current row? This is also a PYQ of 2021. Chalo, jalli jalli. If I am using uh, MS uh, Excel 2013, that what is the key combination which I have to press if I have to go at the end of the last box? F12. If I am not wrong, F12 is for save as. 95B. Oh, 95B, okay. Zaltan is going with B, shift plus tab. Sushma is going with shift plus end. 
this is a PYQ my friend the correct answer will be option E you will have to press control plus your end then you will go to the last option so please remember this is an important one it was asked in the PYQs as well so I cannot see any right answer till now which is a hard uh, hard to believe <laughs> Question number 96. What is the shortcut for selecting all in MS Word? Again, taken from your 2021 PYQs. Now, Akshay Mishra has given the right answer for the previous question. I think that is for column. Let me rethink on this. So I will recheck that and if there is any changes which I will have to make that I will make in the PDF file itself. Question number 97, right? I will recheck it. Question number, yes, this is easy. That is control plus A. Can someone also let me know what is the function of control plus S? What is the function of control plus S? Come on guys, my energy is going down because your energy is going down. So I request you to please increase my energy as well. What is the function of control plus S? Say, very good. What is the uh, function of control plus Y? Fast, fast. I need very fast answers. Control plus Y is used for? Save as new. Save hota hai. control plus S. Control plus Y, P is for, Control plus P is for print. Control plus Y, yes, redo. Haan, redo is the correct answer. Control plus Z is used for undo. No, no, Sajid, you have to revise all the short forms, I think, here. Now, coming to question number 97. Let me see my chat box. Chalo, now come to question number 97. Which of the following is the shortcut key to find text? If you are finding text, Yes, it's control plus F. Now tell me what is control plus G? What should I write over here? Control plus G. Control plus G, my friends, fast. Do not waste your time as well as my time. Control plus G is used for? Control plus X. Someone is saying control plus X is for redo. Control plus G is used for replacing. Please note this particular thing. Control plus X is for Control plus X. Control plus X. Find and replace is the good one. Find and replace, yes. Come on. Control plus J is for downloads if I am not wrong. But that is not working... Uh, in word it's work basically in the chrome control plus j in word is for justify okay control plus x is for cut if i'm not wrong control plus v is for paste ye sab basic basic hi hai. i hope ye sab aata hoga. yes so someone is saying control plus x is for redo please 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 it's for cut only okay for copy what will you use copy ke liye short form kya rahega? shortcut kya rahega? Copy, if I have to copy certain text, let me see the chat box. For copy, if I have to copy, remember this as well. For control plus U, you will be using underline. Control plus B is used for bold. Control plus uh, I, italic font. Okay. So I'm just writing in very short. Control plus C is for copy. Now left, let me know if I have to, uh, this is the text which I am saying right now. Okay. A, B, C, D. If I have to uh, align it to the left margin, then I will be using which shortcut? If I have to align A, B, C, D towards the left margin, then I will be using. 
control plus l okay please remember this if i have to move this in the center then control plus e <coughs> if i have to move it in the right side then control plus r and if i have to justify control plus j a very important different different functions can someone let me know alt plus f4 ka kya function hota hai alt plus f4 alt plus f4 ka kya num function hoga alt plus f4 come on my friends do not lose your energy now alt plus f4 restart switching tabs close yes for switching tabs it's control plus tab okay that is your <laughs> tab refresh ke liye we have discussed regarding this f5 control plus f4 is to close okay close the active tab good 98 to open a word document the correct answer here we all know will be control plus o a very easy question nothing much to discuss let's move ahead to close the document this is a good question i would now say shut down shut down will be used when no active file is been uh, there on the screen but i was asking that in the word format so the correct answer will be to close the windows chalo 99 my friends come on we are one shot ah uh, control plus w is for close hmm 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 control plus w is for close this is correct alt plus f4 is to close the active tab please note this particular thing none of the above question number 100 now enough of shortcuts i think we have to revise that multiple times so take a standard source i would say han ji so i will also check this particular fact regarding alt plus f4 and control plus w right this is also one of the most <laughs> i should say contradictory thing chaliye and also let me know if i have to uh, for ppt okay talking about powerpoint if i have to start the slide show okay if i have to start the slide show from the current slide then what will be my shortcut key because in excel they won't be asking too deep in ppt they can ask you regarding this browser yes the correct answer here will be browser my friend my question to is regarding ppt that is powerpoint if i have to start the slide show from this particular moment of this particular slide so that uh, if i press uh, for example which shortcut combination so so that my slide show starts from 100 question only F twelve, F five. If I press F five, that will start the slot row from the starting. If I press Control plus F five, then it will be current slide. So please note all these different different points. Now coming to an extension which is hundred and one. Hundred and one, my friends. Hundred and one. Yes, F five is for slide show, but it was from starting. I would say. Question number hundred and one. Hundred and one is animation movie file. No. Hundred and one is E. Yes. Now I think Sajan is going with the right option. That is backup file. Good. Now. Hundred and two, which is based on your PYQ only, a spa, uh, type of a term which is used for unsolicited emails. <coughs> spam. Can someone let me know what is mail bomb in a very short, short, moderate manner? What is mail bomb? Yes, this is spam only. What is mail bomb? What is mail bomb, my friends? Mail bomb is when when you get uh, unnecessary emails that too in a very large number. 
guess it's a type of a virus only but i'm explaining you what mail bomb is that you get many okay many emails at a one time and it will overflow your mailbox question number 103 is also a pyq a virus that fools user into downloading or executing them by pretending to be a useful application if you watch if you have watched this particular movie on netflix troy then you could have large number of email to a single email address good crashes the computer okay okay question number 103 i am seeing my chat box continuously 103 is torsion house torsion house is something which first will say that yes yeah i am your friend but at the end of the day they will befriend you and they will ditch you and they will eat your system as simple as that question number 104 again taken from 2021 paper which of the following is used to answer a question which is regarding database we have seen that how for example if i am building this database there are different different rows there are different different columns then which of the following is used to answer for example if i need to answer this particular if i need to get data from this particular cell then what will be the uh, uh, command which i will be giving form okay so sajad is going with form akash is going with query megha is going also with table okay diksha is going with c uh, suraj is also going with c yes the correct answer here will be query i will be giving a command of query that i want to know only this particular value out of this whole particular information or database that is known as query now there are certain very important types of key which you should remember out of which the first is the most important is your primary key must be a dash key so primary key and then there is also a foreign key these two are very important key when it comes to the tables database now what is key key is something which will tell you a relationship it will also tell you the quality for example if i if i make two tables over here okay and the data under these two table are given by the management firm what can be the primary key primary key something is very unique now why it is unique because you are giving a unique identity to this particular field for example all employee id will come in this particular column so that is a primary key it can be a row as well but you first remember that it is a unique foreign key it's a relationship key relationship key okay so it will drive out the relationship between two tables as simple as that my question to you is tables we have just we have discussed this table is a form of which type of database is it network is it related to hierarchy or is it related to relational chalo let me know what is the answer of this particular question yes akash is saying good unique and non repetitive question number 105 pe i have one more question for you tables my friend table is a form of which type of database yes it's relational good now coming to last five questions of the series I think we have discussed more than 150 questions till now via different different counter questions and so on and so forth. I hope you agree with me on that particular domain. Question number 106. What is gutter margin? Yes, relational is the right answer. Question number 106, my friends. चलो चलो लास्ट फाइव क्वेश्चन माई फ्रेंड डू नॉट लूज एन आयोटा ऑफ योर एनर्जी मार्जिन दैट इज एडेड टू द बाइंडिंग साइड ऑफ पेज वेन प्रिंटिंग येस दिस इज अ वेरी लिटरल मीनिंग विच यू कैन टेक वेन यू आर प्रिंटिंग यू विल सी दैट सर्टन मार्जिन इज लेफ्ट वेन यू वेयर द बाइंडिंग इज टेकिंग प्लेस एज सिंपल एज दैट दैट इज अ वेस्टफुल मार्जिन ऑल्सो नोन एज अ गटर मार्जिन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रो एंड कॉलम इज कॉल्ड एस नाउ दिस इज इन द कंटेक्स ऑफ एम एस एक्सेल okay so if i am saying this is an excel then this particular point which is a is known as what 107 my friends last four questions i need your utmost energy cell yes it is known as a cell question number 8 dash is the collection of data that is stored electronic 
electronically as a series of records in a table very easy question we all know the answer it's database okay it's database 109 key to represent relationship between tables is called as we have uh, we have just discussed this particular component question number 109 my friends Hundred and nine. Come on, second last question of our session. Enough of girl some session today again. Yes, it's a foreign key. Why it's a foreign key? Because it it gives the relationship between two tables. The last question of today's session. Uh, which of the following activity is a criminal activity? Uh, attempting to acquire your sensitive information such as password, credit cards, debits by masquerading a trustworthy person or a business in an electronic communication yes it's fishing good nilesh so my dear friends this was the overall session which i have conducted today for all of you although there are 110 questions which are there on the slide but I have asked you multiple questions in the way of true and false in the shortest period as possible. So if you see total 150 questions as promised we have conducted. So if you have any doubt. Yes, the correct answer was fishing. I can see maximum people are giving me the right answer. Let me see the chat box now. Shalom, I wish you all the very best now. If you have any positive feedback, if you have any negative feedback, if you have any feedback, you can drop your mail and this particular ID. You can visit our website also for different different courses. If you have any doubt regarding different different courses, then you can see this particular, uh, you can mail your doubt at this particular ID. You can call as well. Just be confident. Will this session be enough? I would say it was 60% enough, but for shortcut parts and sh shortcuts specifically, have some, I would say, basic knowledge from the internet, have that particular thing. But again, if you want to practice more, please, 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 you can go on the auditor, uh, Edutap official channel of Telegram in the file section. Go there, search computer. And you will get certain files of PYQs and marathon session of 2021 that you can attempt from your particular side. So this was a total 110 question. I'm repeating again because do not blame me. He said 150, but we have done numerous questions based on true and false based on different different sessions. So if you have any feedback, comment it because that will drive me to move forward. Chalo, thank you so much. It was a great session. It was you, you guys participated in a great number, I would say. Uh, remember regarding this particular session, we are going to have a marathon session on AID and ESI static from tomorrow onwards. Only two sessions are there, then current affairs team will take over. So till then, be safe, study hard as hard as possible. And I wish you all the very best. If you have any doubts, comment it. I will take all your doubts right now. So the floor is open for you for another two minutes, I would say, and then I will close the session. Any doubts, anything which you want to ask? Thanks a lot, sir. Your sessions are amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome everyone. Different thank yous from everyone. So this was a big session, I would say. Chalo. Uh, wishing you all the very best. I'm ending the stream now.